One of the most precious commodities the world possesses, along with water, is air. Breathing is something we do naturally every day, most of us without thinking about it. We breathe oxygen into our lungs and we expel carbon dioxide. Plants and trees absorb carbon dioxide and oxygen through their leaves during daylight and only expel carbon dioxide at night without the presence of the sun. What a wonderful, delicate balance of life there is between the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom and humankind. Each life form and species depending on each other, giving and taking in unison. No wonder the Amazon rainforest is called the lungs of the earth. Each large conglomeration of forest, of tree plantation and even woodland hold a special gift for us, the gift of life. When we have clean, fresh air around us, we can strengthen our lungs with daily breathing exercises. We can incorporate this into our daily meditation and daily routine. We can fill our homes and indoor spaces with plants to absorb polluted air, as well as electromagnetic energy coming from computers, mobile phones, smart meters, and other electrical appliances and machines. It's every being's right to be able to breathe clean, fresh air to survive and thrive, just as the great creator intended. Yet in previous times, we've seen how human beings can cut their noses off to spite their faces, so to speak, by polluting the air. Factories with high chimneys billowing out chemicals and pollutants into clean air incessantly, which can drift for miles in the wind landing on arable and farmland where food is grown and animals graze, into lakes and streams, and also into the sea, causing damage to marine life and wildlife. All this destruction for profit, for greed, for the love of money. It's now time to move past this once and for all. It's been proven that people living close to and in polluted air have a much higher risk of becoming infected with lung diseases, cancers, and various blood disorders. Lockdown proved that we were able to live without these factories and also showed us how quickly polluted air can return to normal. Mother Nature certainly is in control. We are told to mind our carbon footprint when we travel and don't drive diesel and petrol cars because they pollute the air. Yes, they do, but so minimally that it's absorbed quickly without lasting damage. The real damage is done by the factories, especially those that emit their smoke at night under the cover of darkness. Perhaps it's believed that the smoke can't be seen, but it can. It can be smelt and tasted too. Perhaps there are those who believe that they're above the law. We've paid those in control to turn a blind eye. We've given them a share of our profits. If you think like that, then it won't work for you. You're not above the law, the law of the universe that is, which tells us to do no harm. You're not above the rules of karma. Everything you do comes back to you. You know that, right? It's not too late. We can do this, all of us. We've got this. Let's not go back and let's not look back. Let's go forward.